What are the principles and methods of pharmacoeconomics? Pharmacoeconomics employs several key principles and methods to evaluate the economic aspects of healthcare interventions, particularly those related to pharmaceuticals. Here are some of the fundamental principles and commonly used methods in pharmacoeconomic analysis. Comparison of alternatives, economic perspective, time horizon, discounting, cost identification, cost measurement, outcome measurement, cost effectiveness analysis, cost utility analysis, sensitivity analysis, modeling, budget impact analysis. Let's deep dive to key principles and methods of pharmacoeconomics. Comparison of alternatives, the central principle of pharmacoeconomics is to compare different healthcare interventions or treatment options. This involves assessing the costs and outcomes associated with each alternative to determine which one provides the best value for money. Economic perspective, pharmacoeconomic analyses often take a specific economic perspective, such as that of the healthcare system, the patient, or society as a whole. The choice of perspective can impact the results and conclusions of the analysis. Time horizon, studies should specify a time horizon over which costs and outcomes are evaluated. This could be short-term, long-term, or a lifetime horizon, depending on the research question and the disease or condition being studied. Discounting, future costs and benefits are typically discounted to present values in pharmacoeconomic analyses. This reflects the principle that a dollar today is worth more than a dollar in the future. Discounting ensures that future costs and benefits are appropriately weighted in the analysis. Cost identification, this involves identifying all relevant costs associated with a healthcare intervention, including direct medical costs like drug costs and hospitalization, direct non-medical costs like transportation, and indirect costs like productivity loss. Cost measurement, researchers quantify the costs identified in the analysis. This includes collecting data on resource utilization and assigning unit costs to these resources. Costs are often expressed in terms of currency and adjusted for inflation. Outcome measurement, depending on the analysis, outcomes may be measured in various ways. Clinical outcomes can include measures like survival rates or disease progression. Quality of life outcomes are often measured using tools like the EQ, 5D, or the Health Utilities Index. These measures are used to calculate Cayley's. Cost-Effectiveness Analysis Cost-Effectiveness Analysis compares the costs and health outcomes of two or more interventions and calculates a cost-effectiveness ratio. The cost-effectiveness ratio represents the incremental cost per unit of health outcome gained like cost per additional Cayley. Cost-utility analysis Cost-utility analysis is a specific type of cost-utility analysis that uses Cayleys as the measure of health outcome. It calculates the cost per additional Cayley for different interventions. Sensitivity analysis Given the uncertainty in healthcare data and assumptions, sensitivity analysis is essential. It explores how variations in key parameters and assumptions affect the results of the analysis. One common form of sensitivity analysis is the construction of a cost-effectiveness or cost-utility acceptability curve. Modeling in many cases, researchers use mathematical models, such as decision trees or Markov models, to simulate the course of a disease and estimate the long-term costs and outcomes associated with different interventions. Budget impact analysis estimates the financial impact of adopting a new healthcare intervention on a healthcare system or organization's budget. It helps decision-makers plan for the implementation of new treatments. These principles and methods are applied systematically to conduct pharmacoeconomic evaluations, allowing decision-makers to make informed choices about the allocation of healthcare resources and the adoption of healthcare interventions based on their economic value and cost-effectiveness. Thanks for watching our informative video for pharmacoeconomics. 
please follow our channel on YouTube, page on LinkedIn and like our video to support more new videos from Market Access Today, the premier market access news platform.